what I'm going to do today is take you through some very basic pastry making, which you can all do. I know pastry does put a lot of fear into people. They think, oh, you have to have special powers to make paste, but you don't. All you need to do is follow some very sort of simple guidelines. So let's have a think, first of all, about the ingredients. So ingredients for pastry, very simple. You need flour, plain flour, and you need fat. Okay, so today, um, I'm going to use a, a mixture of, of butter and trex. Uh, you can use other vegetable substitutes as well. It just makes the pastry a little bit easier to work with. There are also a couple of things you need to remember about pastry. It's a bit like a dog. It doesn't like to get hot and it doesn't like to be poked about with. So the less you handle it, the better, because it can actually shrink if you, if you mess about with it too much, it becomes like a ball of plasticine. And if you keep it chilled for a bit before you roll it out, that will also help as well. Okay, so I'll just remove these. You've seen these, the fat that's going to go into the flour. And there it is. What I need to do, it's been chilled, so I kept it all cool. I need to chop it up into little bits, and then I'm going to show you how to rub that in with your fingers. You can actually use um, a blender as well, a mixer to do it. I know a lot of people that do that, and that actually works out very well, as long as you don't over, overwork it. A few moments later. Okay, so we're just going to start rubbing the fat into the flour and you use your fingertips and you just coating what you're doing is you're coating the flour with flour grains with fat around the outside so just rub gently rubbing with your fingertips and what you'll end up with or what you want to end up with is something that looks like breadcrumbs so as you can see i'm just doing that rubbing it in lifting the flour from the bottom A few minutes later. Okay, so we've rubbed the fat into the flour and you've got what resembles breadcrumbs. We've got to bring that together now and we're going to add a little bit of water. But I should just mention at this point, keep the water to a minimum and it should be cold water. If you add too much water, your pastry is going to shrink and it's going to be quite hard. So you just need a little bit of water just to bring it together. I'll try that out and I'm just going to Cut that in with a knife and then get my hands in there and see if I can bring that to a, a ball. As I said, anyone can do pastry really, it's just practice. And there's lots of different things you can add to pastry. Um, the French enrich it with by putting an egg yolk in or eggs. You can add sugar to make short, uh, sweet pastry. Um, if you wanted to add, uh, if you're making, for example, um, a curried uh, pasty. Uh, we've done those vegetarian curry pasty that's called. Sometimes I've added dried uh, coriander, a cumin, and a little bit of turmeric to it, um, just to flavour the paste. So you can you can play around with your paste, which is a good thing to do. So this is coming together. I don't think I need to add much to it. I'm just pushing it to the bottom of the bowl there. And I don't want to, so just wipe it round. I got my pastry there. Now I don't, you mustn't knead this, okay? Some of my students uh, made the mistake of making bread once with them the week before we did pastry and they thought it's a good idea to sort of knead the pastry. It will really make it shrink when you cook uh, and difficult to work with. So that is done now. So what you need to do with it, the other golden rule is you need to chill it for at least 15 minutes because it will, when you do that, it won't shrink as much, shrink back as much when you cook it. A few minutes later. So it's chilled. You will need a rolling pin. And for pastry, you also need a flour shaker. So we're going to put some flour onto our work surface, a clean work surface. And when you're rolling pastry, okay, you actually move the pastry, you don't become a contortionist and try and move your body, and you turn the pastry to roll it. With short crust, sometimes it's a good idea just to press down on the top, like that, to help you get it going. So you're rolling, even pressure, and then turn, roll again.
turn it. If it starts to stick to this, your rolling pin, you can just put a little bit of flour on there. You don't want to add too much flour though because it will change your pastry. So what I'm going to do is turn it over now. So again, roll it. And we're going to turn it again. It's still too thick for a pie. Roll it. Turn it. That's getting quite big now, so I might just cut that a little bit. It's like doing that kind of knife. That to the side. Roll again. Turn. Roll again. It's getting there now. 